The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 15. Lesson topic, Where did you go for your vacation? Hello, students. Hello, Hawa and Obank. Nice to see you again. I missed you a lot. Hello, Hello dear. We too missed you a lot, Leah. How was your vacation? Oh, it was nice. Where did you go for your vacation, Hawa and Ubank? I went to Gambela. I hope you enjoyed it, Ubank. What about you, Hawa? I went to Baharda. Oh, both of you went a long journey. Why did you go to Baharda, Hawa? I went to Baharda to see my family. Students, where did Hawa go for her vacation? Obank, where did Hawa go for her vacation? She went to Barda. Right. Students, say, she went to Barda. Students, why did Hawa go to Barda? Obank, why did Hawa go to Barda? To see her family. Yes, Hawa went to Barda to see her family. Students, say, she went to Barda to see her family. Students, say again, she went to Barda to see her family. Students, now, please tell your teacher where you went for your vacation and what you did. Teacher, please ask your students one by one to tell you where they went for their vacation and what they did. Call students by name and ask where did you go for your vacation and what did you do. You have about one and a half minutes. teacher and students. Students, now listen to Ubang. Ubang, please tell us about Gambela and what you did. Okay. In Gambela, you can find very, very big rivers, very, very huge and tall trees, very, very tall grasses, and there are a lot of forests. My father took me to one of the forests and... Wait. Why did your father take you to the forest, Ubang? To show me different insects. What type of insects can you find in Gambela, Obang? There are a lot of them, but the most important is the honeybees. That's very interesting. Tell us about the honeybees, please. My father told me they live together in a large group. Oh, students, how do honeybees live? How? How do honeybees live? They live together in a large group. Students, how do honeybees live? Students, please say they live together in a large group. Students, again say they live together in a large group. 
That's very good, everyone. What do we call those large groups, Subang? Colonies. They are called colonies. Students, what are those large groups called? Hawa, what are those large groups called? Colonies. Right. They are called colonies. Students say they are called colonies. What else do honeybees do, Ubang? They work together and they are called social insects. Why are they called social insects, Subang? Because they live together and work together. Students, why are honeybees called social insects? Hawa, why are they called social insects? Because they live together and work together. That's right, Hawa. Students say because they live together and work together. Students say again, because they live together and work together. How many kinds of bees can you find in a colony bank? As my father told me, there are three kinds of bees in a colony. What are those three kinds of bees, Ubank? First, there is a female queen bee. What does she do? Her job is to lay eggs. Students, is a queen bee a male or a female? Hawa, is a queen bee a male or a female? She is a female. Right, she is a female. Students say a queen bee is a female. Students say again, a queen bee is a female. Students, what is the job of the queen bee? What's the job of the queen bee, Hawa? She lays eggs. Students say she lays eggs. Okay, the first is a female queen bee. What about the other, Subang? Second, there are male bees, and their job is to mate with the queen bee. Oh, what are they called? The male bees are called drones. Students, what are the male bees called? Hawa, what are the male bees called? They are called drones. Students say the male bees are called drones. What about the third kind, Dubak? The third kind is female worker bees. There are a lot of female worker bees in a colony. Students, what are the third kinds of bees? Hawa, what are third kinds of bees? Female worker bees. Right. Students say they are female worker bees. What is their job, Ubank? What do they do? They do different jobs. One of their job is to collect nectar from flowers and store in the cells of the hive. What's nectar? Nectar is a sweet liquid which is made by flowers. Students, who make nectar, flowers or bees? Who make nectar, Hawa? Flowers. Right. Students say, flowers make nectar. I didn't understand, Wang. How do they carry the nectar they collect? They have baskets on their back legs. They carry pollen and the nectar in their baskets. Baskets on their back legs? Yes. They have baskets on their back legs. And they carry the nectar in the basket. Students, how do female worker bees carry the nectar they collect? How? How do the female worker bees carry the nectar they collect? In the baskets on their back legs. Students say they carry the nectar in the baskets on their back legs. Students say again, they carry the nectar in the baskets on their back legs. That's very good, everyone. Students, now let's listen again to Ubang telling us the three kinds of bees. Ubang, please tell us again what the three kinds of bees are. First, there is a female queen bee. 
What does she do? Her job is to lay eggs. Students, is a queen bee a male or a female? Hawa, is a queen bee a male or a female? She is a female. Right. A queen bee is a female. Students, what is the job of the queen bee? What is the job of the queen bee, Hawa? Laying eggs. Okay. The first is a female queen bee. What about the others, Obang? Second, there are male bees, and their job is to mate with the queen bee. What are they called? They are called drones. Students, what are the male bees called? Hawa, what are the male bees called? They are called drones. What about the third kind, Obang? The third kind is female worker bees. There are a lot of female worker bees in a colony. Students, what are the third kinds of bees? Hawa, what are the third kinds of bees? Female worker bees. What is their job, Obang? What do they do? They do different jobs. One of their jobs is to collect nectar from flowers and store in the cells of the hive. What's nectar? Nectar is a sweet liquid which is made by flowers. Students, who make nectar, flowers or bees? Who make nectar, Hawa? Flowers. Right. Students say, flowers make nectar. I didn't understand, Wang. How do they carry the nectar they collect? They have baskets on their back legs. They carry the pollen and the nectar in their baskets. Baskets on their back legs? Yes, they have baskets on their back legs. And they carry the nectar in the baskets. Students, how do female worker bees carry the nectar they collect? How? How do the female worker bees carry the nectar they collect? In the baskets on their back legs. <laughs> That's very good, students. Now it's time for you to tell your teacher what you know about honeybees. Teacher, please ask several students one by one to tell you what they know about honeybees. Let the students tell you only one thing. Please follow your radio guide. You have about one and a half minutes. teacher and students. Hawa and Obang, I think it's time for us to go. Yes, it's time, time to, to go. go. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. That was English for grade 7 from the Ethiopian Educational Media Agency. <laughs>